More data has been generated in the past two years than in the entire history of mankind. While for many there are reasons to celebrate this increasingly connected world, others express growing concern about the risks associated with all this data, an ideal target for cybercrime. Cybersecurity was one of the hottest topics at the recent Cybertech conference in Tel Aviv. Everything is connected to the internet now. I think that in 2015, about 20% of cars in the US that were shipped were shipped connected, which means they had a SIM card or some other form of connectivity. When you have so many devices connected to the internet, it's just, you must, you must secure them. Last year, hackers in the US managed to remotely access a Jeep Cherokee SUV through its onboard computer taking control of its steering, transmission and brakes. Researchers executed a similar hack on the Tesla Model S. Cybersecurity has basically escalated from being no priority maybe a year ago, um, then through the, uh, the, the, the Jeep hack and the Tesla hacks to become top three prior priority right, right now. As car makers race to make their vehicles behave more and more like smartphones, they'll also have to deal with the security risks that go with connecting to the internet. An increasingly autonomous car also means an increasingly vulnerable vehicle. Motor cars are being more and more connected to the cloud and hence there is a growing uh, threat, cyber threat, of anyone trying to hack into cars. Someone could uh, create a large-scale attack over the internet to a large number of vehicles and by uh, penetrating into some, through the, through the wired interfaces, into some critical system, actually get into the most safety critical systems of the car and actually take actions from affecting uh, steering of the cars, affecting brakes, uh, obviously affecting things that at the extreme end could endanger people's lives. The growing trend to use internet-connected household appliances also puts users at greater risk, especially from data theft. According to Yossi Atias, the founder of an Israeli startup that pledges to secure the connected smart home, there are solutions. The system knows to automatically analyze the behavior of the devices uh, and when it, when it identifies some uh, uh, anomaly uh, in this behavior, it's alerting the user, but also blocking this uh, activity. The founder of one of the world's most prominent antivirus companies, Eugene Kaspersky, summed it up when he said, you call it Internet of Things, I call it Internet of Threats. Identity theft is the most common type of cybercrime. Most of the people will find themselves suddenly with uh, uh, any device that they know from their daily life connected to the network. Uh, and that's, on one hand, makes their life more simple, uh, convenient, etc. On the other hand, if it's not properly protected, that can create quite a lot of uh, uh, issues, anything from basic usage of uh, the device all the way to a more severe um, cybercrime-related stuff like uh, identity theft. Breaches originating from cloud-connected devices jumped by 152% last year. Cybercrime is estimated to cost the global economy hundreds of billions of euros a year. In a sign that companies are taking security more seriously, average investment into security budgets rose by a quarter in 2015.